Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you. It's Nick here, we're on the Commodore Amiga, and we're looking at a racing game. This one's called Racing Maniacs, uh, written by Paul Gaze in 1993. And um, it's a shareware game, PD, and I'm struggling to um, believe that because the quality of this game when I did a practice version was so good. Well, it's a polygon sort of like racing game. It's you versus another opponent. Um, you can have up to six players in the league, so we're going to race against what looks like Clint Eastwood. What could possibly go wrong? But yeah, maximum of eight players, 1993. It's Polygon Racing, so here I am. Now, you can have, well, now you can have a, a game with um, uh, weapons, but we're not doing that. So it's me versus Clint. Um, it takes a while to get used to the different tracks as Clint Eastwood goes past me in his grey car. Frame rate is not too bad. I don't think there's an option, or there might be an option, to turn down the scenery. But yeah, this is public domain, so someone's written this by themselves. It's quite, um, way. It's quite, um, comparable with a game we reviewed a few weeks ago called Formula One 3D. So have a look at that. That's a whole team of people. This is just one guy. So well done, uh, Mr. Paul Gaze. Hopefully we can win a, a race. But the, uh, the best bit of this game is doing leagues versus different people. Clint Eastwood is one of the guys. I think he's the best racer in the uh, whole game. Uh, and there's other characters as well. So nice bit of undulation. I don't think the car ever gets airborne. Only one camera angle, but I forgive that. But um, yeah, you know, you can tell already, can't you? If you're into racing games, how much time you would have spent on this. And I would have spent quite a bit of time. Well, they spelt that wrong. Looser. What's that? What's looser? My trousers? You're a looser baby, so why don't you kill me? Anyway, uh, first impressions good, spelling mistakes aside, who cares about that? It's all about how the game plays. Uh, this wasn't a, uh, well, uh, a proper polished published release, but if a publisher had got hold of this, I think they would have spruced it up quite nicely. Right, so there's game preferences there. That's what you can change. I'm going to put the skill level a bit down a bit so I can at least win a race. Who's the worst driver in the whole game? Well, apart from me, of course. We'll soon find out. Now, if you had this one back in the day, let me know. But I think there's a good chance that you wouldn't have done. And <laughs> the worst driver is Ernie from Sesame Street. Okay, bud. Yeah, we must be able to beat Ernie. He's an income poop. Who's that Muppet? Right, it's Ernie. Right, off we go. Go, 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 go. And Ernie's flown off. It's always the same car, that grey car. It's the same track again as before, so we should be okay. Slow down, Nick. Ernie's taking it on the inside. You can set the maximum number of laps. I'm doing this over one lap, so it might be better if I do it over more than one lap. Have I taken the lead? P1, yeah. It might be better if I do it over more than one lap, give you more chance of getting the lead. But I think what's going to happen here is Ernie's going to be quicker on the corners, because I don't know quite how quickly I can take these, uh, being a bit cautious, and uh, probably a lot quicker than him on the streets. Good. Good engine sounds as well. You can see your time in the top right, or top left, I should say. Uh, I think that the best time so far is in the right. We'll buy a single player. Oh, God, that's no good. Get off the grass, Nick. Uh, the car, I think on the, you see on that, that um, bar on the, the vertical bar on the right, that's your status. And I think underneath, whoops, we've been hit from behind. I think there's the weapons below. Uh, it's automatic gears, so we're not selecting those. Uh, human, it says, that's me, and my speed's underneath. Position one, we've won! We're the winners, so we're no longer losers, we're winners. Good, isn't it? Very good game, very good game. Um, looking for a public domain racing game, I don't think you could have done much better than this one. In your face, Ernie, and Bert's watching from the trackside in tears. He bet his house on this and lost. Tough luck, Bert. Right, what else can we do? It's two player, um... Yes, we'll do a knockout competition uh, this time again. Well, this time we'll try to. Uh, hopefully we're not paired against Clint Eastwood. But you never know. Right. Here we go. Who are we going to be paired against? Come on, let us know. Right, select a track. Fast, bendy, oval. That's good. And it's paired us against Clint Eastwood. I don't think it's nice, you laughing. He's a man with no name. Why are you gonna pull those pistols or whistle Dixie? I do like Clint Eastwood. Uh, I can't do very good impressions of, of him, as you just saw there. But it's an oval. So, oh man, so you just keep going right, keep going right. Get round to Clint. Oh, I've drawn, I've drawn, I've, I've drawn the best. Oh, I might have knocked him off the track there. I've drawn the best racer in round one, which we did not want. We wanted to draw Ernie. 
But anyway, power down. We're in first place, P1. Keep going. He's off. Oh, we'll see. You can go a lot quicker around the outside, but he's hit the grass. So although he's the best driver in the game, he does have his faults. Keep him, keep him in touch. If, if he disappears off the horizon, the computer can do whatever they want with the computer calculations. Oh, look at that. And it was only one lap. I should have done more laps. I think if we had three laps, we would have got Clint. Uh, boo, knocked out in the first round to the man with no name called Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Right. Uh, then we've got Sean Connery versus Tommy Cooper in the other race. We won't have to watch that. It'll compute the race results. So, you know, if you ever wondered who's the quickest driver out of Tommy Cooper and James Bond or Sean Connery, there you know. Now we've got Alexis Sal, the comedian from the UK, versus uh, Marilyn Monroe. What a matchup. Lexi Sow, he hasn't been around for a while. He had a bit part in Indiana Jones and uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, I think. And was in The Young Ones, one of my favourite shows. Alexi's beat Monroe. Now now we've got Black Adder, Rowan Axon versus Steven Spielberg. What an odd uh, mixture of competitors that we have in here. No racing drivers, a uh, mixture of actors and directors. But I, I can tell now that this was written by someone in the UK as Clint Eastwood is versus Sean Connery. Who's going to win? Well, it's the man with no name called Clint Eastwood versus James Bond, and Clint Eastwood wins. Uh, Lexi Sal versus Blackadder. Ball where's Baldrick would be good in this. Now, if you're not from the UK, you might not know the show Blackadder, so you might have to YouTube that or Google that to know what it is. And also Alexi Sal. But I don't think Alexi Sal's ever raced against Clint Eastwood. Uh, I think Clint Eastwood's going to win this one. Place your bets. He has. Great. Right. So the winner is Clint Eastwood. So I lost in the first round, but I lost the eventual winner of the competition. So maybe it's not so bad. Yeah, you couldn't... I, I don't want to turn the scenery off because uh, it goes quick enough already. Uh, there's nothing else there. Let's, let's put on weapons then. See how that works. Maybe up the skill level a little bit. Or should we keep it on two? I think we'll keep it there. I, you know, I'm not that good at this game because it's the first, well, it's the second time, should we say, I've played it. But it's really good. I'm really impressed with it because it would have cost zero or just the cost of postage and packing. We've drawn Steven Spielberg. Hmm. So what what year was this game? 1993. So, you know, um, hmm. Right, marks, set, go. Off we go. He's probably playing, he's probably got E.T. as his co-driver. Oh, worst corner ever. Where is he? He hasn't come past yet, has he? Right, I don't know how we're going to use those weapons. We've said weapons activated. Position one. Oh no, we spun. We spun like a loony bin. Oops, and now... Oh, loser. Uh, yeah, we, we, we took maximum damage there. Loser. Uh, Steven Spielberg come around the corner and drove right through our car like we were tinfoil and we died. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Oh, we're gonna have to wait. We have to wait through the whole championship. No, no, we got out right. We don't do weapons. Let's do. Um, should we do one more? Um, where was about the program? I think we'll do one more league, uh, and then we're there, uh, and then we'll call it a day. But it's quite addictive. This game. I would have played it and played it until I got good at all the tracks, and I think I would have won all the tracks eventually, and then I would have probably gone back to the commercial release of uh, Jeff Crammon's Formula One. Uh, Grand Prix, which was released by Microprose, which was the best out of all the Polygon games. Some people like Indy 500. Oh, Clint Eastwood again, that's not fair. Some people like Indy 500 the best, but I never really got on with that one, and I haven't reviewed it as of yet, but there's a time I'm going to have to review it, because a lot of people did like it uh, in an unbiased way. Right. Can I beat Clint Eastwood this time? Pro well, we're in the lead at the moment. There he goes. Into the distance. He disappears. Um, I needed, I think even if I was in uh, this race car, whatever it is, and um, Clint Eastwood was on a horse, I think he'd still win. I mean, the handling of, the, don't get me wrong, although the graphics of this game uh, are great, the handling is pretty rubbish of this car. Uh, it's a bit like um, an advanced, well, if you look at the Amiga version of hard driving, this is much better than that. So if they stuck this engine in hard driving, I think they would have had a winner. I mean, the handling's better than hard driving. Uh, the Mega version of hard drive on this, but this isn't perfect either, but it is, it is ever so slightly better. And I've lost again, I'm looser. Uh, never get too loose. Normally it takes me a few drinks before that happens. P2, and you're out, Nicky. You're out. Oh, now it's going to simulate everything. Sean Connery versus Tommy Cooper. It's the same as last time, which Sean Connery won. 
Is it going to be the same result each time? Yes. Alexis Al versus Monroe. Same result again. Hmm, I, 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 I presume this is random, but it seems to be exactly the same as before. Maybe it's just one big coincidence. So, yeah, if you've got an Amiga or just uh, an emulator, I would recommend tracking this one down because it's a fine example of what public domain shareware game should be. I don't know what Paul Gaze went on to do after that, but hopefully some main publishers saw his work here uh, and gave him um, a better job or more involved. If you know more about that, then let me know in the comment section below. Um, come on, Blackadder. Du, 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 du. He lost. Clint Eastwood in the final game versus Alexi Sal. How many times have we seen that in racing history? Never, apart from this review. Right. Yeah, victory again for Clint Eastwood. So whoever wrote this game, we know who wrote this game, is Paul Gaze. So Paul Gaze was a big Clint Eastwood fan. Right, we'll do one more, we'll do one more race and then we'll, uh, we'll skedaddle in good skedaddle fashion. Right, okay. Do a few laps, I think. Right, away we go. I think this game would be great fun in two-player mode, you know. You versus someone else. What track shall we do, folks? We'll we'll do the first track, and we're Blur versus Blackadder, Edmund Blackadder himself. Dun da 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 da. That Blackadder is from the first series of Blackadder. My favourite is the second one and the third one. Uh, I like the fourth one as well. First one was just getting going. Had Brian Blessed in there every now and again. Oh look, Blackadder keeps smashing me from behind. Behead him. Right, we're still in first place. Get the bend. It'd be nice to win at least one race, I think. Well, we did win one, didn't we, versus Ernie, but that doesn't count. Um, Ernie Ernie can't drive. Um, Blackadder. Now, uh, Blackadder, Edmund Blackadder, was set in medieval England um, before cars had actually been invented, and he was the most stupid of all the uh, Blackadder clan, so I'm guessing that I'm going to beat him with him not actually knowing what a car is, hopefully. And that first Blackadder, Baldrick was cleverer than him. Yeah, such as evolution, what goes. And then Blackadder 2, he went to Elizabethan times, and, and then he was like uh, like Regency, the Prince Regent, then World War, is he World War 1 or 2? Might have been World War 1. Off we go. Right, I'm still in the lead. Um, you don't know the distance you are ahead of your opponent here, there's no map. Right, lap 1, so, although I set it onto 3 laps, if I set it onto 1 lap, I would have won. Nincompoop. Slow down. Right, I'm getting used to the corners now. We're getting a bit of speed up. Before I was being overly cautious. All the trees are like those triangle Lego trees, but that's fine. That's acceptable for this sort of era. And from, I'll remind you again, public domain game. Public domain game. Also, eh? There's a lot of um, full price games that weren't as good as this. A lot of ones that we've actually covered. Oh, almost span. Oh no, Nicky, get it back on the track. Get it back. Oh look, there he goes. Blackadder's pass. We're going to mess this up, aren't we? Right, this is lap two of three. Don't do that again. I'm sure we can bring him back. He's a dot on the horizon. He hasn't vanished completely, or has he? The car seems to be going a bit slow. Have we taken a bit of damage here? We might have done. Oh, it's... Oh, dear me. I think the car's broken, folks. Well, we was doing okay. If we'd done one lap, we would have won. Hmm. So these are... Oh, look, the car's not even turning now. There might be something wrong with looser. All oh, right. Okay. Well, the, the steering had completely and utterly gone there. But uh, yeah, racing maniacs. This excellent, excellent, excellent stuff. Uh, a racing game featuring Tommy Cooper, which you don't see very often. So hope you liked having a look at that one. I really liked it. That was Racing Maniacs on the Amiga, uh, written by Paul Gaze in 1993. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. And until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.